Okay, so today's my first day back in the office. I've been trying all day to get back into the swing of things, you know, getting in on time, getting up early, working with the team, getting in touch with all my clients, all that kind of stuff. So I'm a little bit rusty on this too. So please, please, please bear with me. Just a second. Hi, this is the Daily Overpass. My name is Eric and I make apps. Now today, I want to answer my favorite question. Can you actually make money with apps? Okay, so I'm back in the UK, back in the office today, right? It feels really good to be back to work. Like when you're working for somebody else and you come back from vacation or from holiday, right? And you go back to work, it always feels like, you know, it's so depressing, you know, go sit back at that desk and just slave away. But when you're working for yourself, it's actually kind of fun. You get to catch up on all the kind of stuff that you, that you missed out on. Even when it's dealing with clients, making sure that everybody's happy, every, you know, Thank everybody for being patient for the past few weeks. We catch up with that kind of stuff. And, you know, taking a look at our own app revenue and all that kind of stuff. All right, so it's really nice to be back, right? So hopefully the videos get a little bit better, get a little bit more interesting. If you have any questions, of course, send them through. You know, we'll try to answer those, you know, to the best of my ability, to the best of my experience, I guess. So, you know, I'm not an expert on anything in this app market, right? So, but today I wanted to talk about something that I get asked a lot, especially by... Uh, like friends and family who I haven't seen in a while to say, you know, so what have you up to lately? And when I tell them I'm, I'm an app developer, they'll either tell me their, their super secret app idea, don't, don't steal my idea now, right? Or they'll tell me, or they'll ask the question, can you actually make money, you know, can you actually make money do it being an app developer, right? Which I think is, is such an open-ended question. It's like if you were a musician and somebody says, can you actually make money being a musician? You say, well, yeah, look at, you know, Look at Jay Z. Look at you know. Look at all these big stars. But then there's also people working in the bars who are just making a living, and then there's people who make nothing, right? And I think the same way about the app market. When people say, "Can you actually make money doing that?" What I hear is, "Can you easily make money doing that?" Right? So, I, so I never, I never like to ask answer that question. But yeah, you you can, right? So, what I thought I'd do today was show you some of my revenue from like the passive revenue today. So the other day I talked about passive and active revenue. So we have client work which brings in active revenue, but we also have the passive revenue that comes in based on work that we've done, you know, a long time ago. So or you know, you know, we still keep putting apps out, but you know, it's the the few key ones still seem to be making the money. So so I have a look at my screen over here, which is kind of I want to compare uh, you know, the last month, so July of 2017 with July of 2016. So I have the spreadsheet here, which we, we've been keeping up since, you know, the end of 2014 of the daily revenue. So we just kind of have an idea of how much money is being made each day, right? And it's, um, you, so it's not, so you see here that it's not a huge amount. If it was just me, like if I just decided I wanted to just, you know, sack everyone and just live off the, the revenue from the apps, I could do, but that's like, you know, that's not, you know, I still must see myself at the bottom of this ladder, right? I want it to be bigger than it is now. So we have a look here at this, uh, at this report, uh, and this takes the different revenue streams that we have. So there's the ad networks and, you know, uh, you know, iTunes, Google play, all that kind of stuff. So you can see here, uh, let's just go to July of July 1st of last year. Uh, you know, it was, um, you know, made at 157, uh, 38 that day. This is in pounds. So and even last year, pounds used to be a lot more worth a lot more than they are now. You know, after Brexit, the, the, the value of the pound dropped, right? Uh, dropped a bit. I think it's going to drop some more. So maybe I need to start looking for U.S. clients, right? So, uh, so you can see here, you know, last year was you know, Ad Mob was you know, 80 pounds, you know, 109. Uh, you know, we were doing really well with with Google Payments, with Google Wallet uh, payments, and also with iTunes. So you can see here we got. Uh, we got iTunes, which comes in USD, but we convert it to GBP. Uh, we got App Lovin', so we were doing pretty well with App Lovin' last year too. So yeah, that was actually a pretty good cont you know, contender with AdMob. So they were working really well together. So uh, and then we've got um, you know, so that's in GBP uh, and then Facebook. And Facebook for it's always been, you know, I don't think I've, it's been very rare to make more than 10, 10 pounds. A day in Facebook a lot of times it's like two or three so but it's still it's enough to put onto the spreadsheet there's I've used other ad networks like like Smato um, you know Vungle you know, Vungle we've been serving so many ads through Vungle I have made I made pennies through Vungle I don't you know I don't, I don't even check it anymore because it's just it's just a, such a low ECPM we have on that right 
So, and also the, the Facebook, and then I also have a, a, a column here for contracting. So, you know, and I haven't done any contracting for, for quite a while, right? So, uh, and by the way, contracting blows all the rest of it out of the water. So, you know, say, uh, so through the app revenue, I can make, you know, 200 pounds in a day, but through contracting, I can make, you know, you know four or five, or 600 a day, but that's also, you know, <laughs> putting on a suit, going into an office and doing something you know, doing some work for somebody else for like the entire day, which is, it's a, you know, you know sometimes that, that's the hard bit about doing this stuff on your own because you, it's never quite so sure and you're thinking there's always that, right? If I, if I just, you know, if I just was, you know, not so concerned with my own happiness, I could just go out there and do that, right? But, um, you know, but that's, you know, it's also not scalable. So, uh, so the, yeah, last year was going pretty well. Uh, these colors over here, so basically I have this uh, conditional thing here. If it's um, if it's over 200, which is a really good day, it's green. If it's uh, you know below 150, then it's red. Uh, if it's between 180 and 200, then it's yellow. So, you know, last July we were doing pretty well, but August we did really well. So August everything shot up. Uh, you know, to most days were above 200. So like this is why I'm concerned now with it. So let's shoot over to today. Uh, so this is July of. The, this past July, and you see most days here we're in the red, so we're talking about 144, 145, and it's mainly ad mob. The ad mob has gone so much lower, uh, but um, but also you know Facebook and app loving are much lower than they used to be, at least in my opinion. So it's something that you know I'd be interested to see what you guys. So this is one of the things I'm trying not to show you guys my RPMs because I'm not supposed to show you my RPMs, but I could show you just these values. So. So we're just being really generic here. If I show you uh, August, uh, August is even worse. August is like every day has been below 150. Uh, but um, I'm hoping things shoot up, and it's mainly because of ad mob, right? So this is one of the things I'm thinking about switching ad networks, right? But still, when you think about it, this is all for app for um, for work that's been done a long time ago. We haven't invested in ads in a while. We haven't done any, you know. We've done, we do a little bit of marketing, like my team does a bit of marketing on them, but mostly we've been focused lately on client work. So it's really nice that that still comes in, right? But if I go back to, if I go back to my earliest reports last year, um, back to like 20, to the end of 2014, you see mostly it was all red. It's something like this gradual growth kind of thing. So, so uh, the, the reason I'm showing you this is not to, is not to brag, it's just to show you that yes, you can make money with apps, Right? And, but it depends on how much time and effort you put into it. And also, there's a lot of luck involved there too, I think. Uh, and you know, what I think about is like, you've probably never heard of any of my apps like on the App Store. But the, the most likely is you've heard me talk about the apps. So if you know about any of my apps, it's because I've talked about them, right? Maybe you found the YouTube videos, right? And then I talk about EarSpy, I talk about you know the language learning apps, all this kind of stuff, right? So I don't have huge apps, but we do have like quite a bit of downloads and they do, grow incrementally. So we're always thinking about how can we change some keywords. The problem I had in the early days is I was changed keywords and then like if I didn't have immediate results, I would just change them again, right? And one of the nice things about client work is not so much that is a revenue from client work, but is that just gets me away from tinkering with the apps with the you know keywords and, and screenshots and all this kind of stuff. So let's things just sort of, you know, you know, germinate there for a while <laughs> working on something else and I come back and look at it, oh hey, that's working or hey, that's not working. Ooh, that's taking a nosedive, that kind of stuff. So anyway, the short answer to the question is, can you make money with apps is yes, you, you, know, you absolutely can. You could be one of the big guys who, you know, who, you know, you could be the Jay-Z of the app world. You could be the Candy Crush, the, um, uh, you know, Flappy birds or whatever, and you're making that that big killing, or you could be, you know, someone like me who's just you know, who's just scraping by, who's just you know making a living from it. It's a nice little you know supplement to my income, or you could be somebody who's not making anything because you've tried it and you think oh it's not working, it's just it's not worth doing, but you just need to put a little bit more effort into it, think more about the marketing, tinker around with those uh, with those keywords. You know, try reskinning your apps, all this kind of stuff. You know, just if, if one market's not working, try to, you know, take your application and reskin it to a new theme or something like that so you can get a bit more traction and get in front of the right people. So it is possible and sometimes it might feel like it's not possible and some people will tell me, say, oh yeah, you, you really can't make money with apps anymore. You used to be able to, but now you can't. You can. It's just, you know, it's just 
not as easy as, as everyone makes it out to be. But I don't think anything is. I don't think, you know, if you want to become a YouTube star, I don't think that's as easy. I don't, if you want to become a, a best-selling ebook author, I don't think that's as easy as people make it sound. You know, I don't think, if you want to do Facebook, um, or sorry, the FBA, Amazon stuff, you know, uh, fulfilled by Amazon, I don't think that's as easy as people make it out to be. Right? And, and it, you, when people say, can you make money doing that? Yeah, you can, but it's not, it's not easy money. It's just, you know, it's like every other market. At least that's my opinion. Anyway, that's it for today. I will talk to you guys tomorrow.